Thank you, David, and um, Axel, again, the organizers and sponsors for having me. Um, I'm going to talk today about um, the role of new angiomic uh, chemoradiation versus SBRT. Uh, I don't have any relevant uh, financial disclosures. Um, borderline resectable pancreatic cancer is a very broad and heterogeneous group now, and basically the thing to remember is it means that there's at least some vein and possibly some artery involvement in no metastatic disease. And this CT scan, you see that there's vein only involvement that would require a vein resection and may even still uh, end up with a positive margin without new adjuvant treatment. <clears throat> If there's a positive margin, the median survival is very consistently similar to doing uh, no surgery, uh, just chemo alone or other palliative treatments, around 10 to 12 month median survival. So a positive margin is certainly something to be avoided. Um, and when the vessels are involved, the surgeon is really uh, almost, there was a Japanese study that I'm not going to show that showed 70% positive margin rate for people that had uh, patients with uh, arterial involvement. So very high margin positivity. Um, if surgery only is used. Um, the uh, recurrence, uh, uh, the pattern of spread involves perineural spread along the vessels, the autonomic nerves go along the arteries. Um, and this study is actually from Johns Hopkins showing a regional pattern of failure in the lymph nodes and, and probably also uh, in these, in the perineural um, um, aspect of, of um, tumor spread. Uh, so not, not a, a small focal area to, to, to treat, it's, it's a regional uh, area to treat, and this has always been the recommendation in our field. This is not the topic of this uh, but, uh, talk, uh, chemo versus chemo radiation, but this is controversial. Um, but I think that what's fair to say is that even with modern chemotherapy, the, the, the margin positivity is still going to be about 30% about or, or failed, failed surgical resection, about 30%. With radiation, it's fairly consistently, um, if that's part of the treatment, uh, usually chemo would also be given, uh, the margin positivity is around 10 percent. So I, in my view, um, radiation does improve the margin um, negative resection rate uh, better than chemotherapy. Um, the principles of any neoadjuvant treatment uh, with radiation are that we want to treat the regional nodes and we want to treat the tumor bed with margin. Um, and the purpose is to lead, uh, again, to a margin negative resection and to prevent nodal recurrence. Um, all of the margins are important, uh, regardless if there's a critical structure there or not, which is, which is a, co a consideration in pancreatic cancer. We should have a two centimeter margin. This principle has been around since the beginning of radiotherapy. Um, we should not see marginal recurrences with neoadjuvant treatment. This is not a definitive treatment. It's a neoadjuvant treatment, and this decision of how much margin to use is under physician control. Um, now, we should also have regimens, though, that are well tolerated, given that it's pancreatic cancer and has a modest benefit. Um, and, it, you know, what has emerged more recently is that people prefer it to be convenient and not to interrupt chemotherapy. Um, this is a study that was published uh, more recently from MD Anderson, 600 patients, where MD Anderson's where new adjuvant radiation was pioneered. Uh, I treated most of these patients, actually, so I'm very familiar with how they were treated. We used simple radiation techniques with wide margins, and, and, and that resulted in over 90% over margin negative resection, local recurrence rate of around 20%, which is, which is very respectable in this disease. These, these uh, treatment volumes are very simple. I'm just, this is a very old slide, actually, but uh, just, you know, simply, two, this is a 2D treatment, really. It's not a, it does, you don't need anything fancy to, to achieve these goals. Now, in our field, we have a lot of acronyms, and these acronyms are, are, are designed to make everyone confused, of course. So, SBRT, SRS, IGRT, IMRT. Uh, in this case, the only thing that matters is the volume that's treated. So, um, SABR is something that includes ablative doses of radiation. That's more in lung cancer. We do it in locally advanced pancreatic cancer as well. But uh, th these are um, things that our colleagues don't understand. But in reality, they're, they're, they have a very specific role to give a stereotactic treatment when we want to give a high dose, not when we want to give a low dose. Here's an example of what an SBRT, low-dose SBRT treatment volume looks like for a borderline resectable case. This was a case that was treated by a thought leader in our field. Um, you can see it's very tiny. It, it doesn't make sense to do this in the setting of what we know the pattern of recurrence to be. Um, and this patient actually did have a local recurrence uh, at the margin uh, of the volume. 
um, and, and, was, and came to Sloan Kettering for further care. Another thought leader that's, that's advocated for this had a similar uh, a case, a similar case that was again seen by, by us and it was treated on the outside. Um, here you see that the, um, you see that the, uh, the radiation is curved around the duodenum for safety reasons and so there's a very minuscule two millimeter margin there um, and that's where the tumor recurred. So with a, with a wider margin, this, this most likely would not happen. So what will be the denominator of this? I think um, there are a couple of studies to look at. One of them is University of Cincinnati did a prospective trial that they had to abandon because they had so many marginal misses from this treatment. They did this treatment exactly how um, it was described in, uh, in the um, Alliance trial, which I'll mention in a little bit, but they had overall 30% um, isolated local recurrences outside of the radiation field. So to, this is under physician control. It shouldn't, this really shouldn't happen at all. There's a study from uh, China with larger numbers, 510 borderline resectable, it's an amazing number of patients. Um, and they had 20% marginal misses as well, a very consistent number with this small volume. And then you can see the little dots of where the recurrences happen right outside of the radiation field. The Alliance study that has recently reached full accrual uh, is a borderline resectable pancreatic cancer study where uh, falfurinox neoadjuvant was uh, compared to falfurinox followed by the same um, SBRT treatment. And the SBRT arm was closed due to fertility. We don't know the details of what, what happened um, and why it was closed early, but the treatment didn't help. And, and given, given what we know, it's, it's likely that I think that there was, a, there was a deficiency in the volume that was treated. So does SBRT meet the, the necessary objectives of new adjuvant treatment um, with radiation? Um, I think it, it does have a few advantages. It's, it's not toxic um, because it's, it, it's just a low dose and, it, and it's very focused, small volume. It's convenient for patients that doesn't interrupt chemotherapy, but I don't think that it's doing the job in terms of maximizing local tumor control. This is something that's under physician control. We, we can either use small fields or large fields. Um, the, the rationale for using SBRT in this setting is very weak. The margins are millimeters and we should at least have two centimeter margin to ensure that the, there's no local recurrence. There's really nothing to gain by doing this for patients who are going to have surgery. Uh, the, fa the failure pattern is regional as well as local and should be addressed with the radiation treatment. Um, and what we're seeing is 20 to 30% marginal misses from this type of treatment. Um, the um, regional field radiation is really the only option supported by data. It's well tolerated and convenient as well and um, can be given in two weeks. That's only one week more uh, with chemotherapy and we've had um, around 90% R0 resection and 80% um, local tumor control with that and, and very rare marginal misses. So which, which regimen should we use? 50.4 gray um, in five and a half weeks has fallen out of favor. Most people are not doing that now. I'd say that's too long uh, in, the, in the modern era. Uh, but one week of radiation, low dose SBRT is, is too short uh, because uh, the doses are too high and the volumes have to be kept, uh, kept uh, small. Um, the, the, what I like is to give two and a half weeks of radiation it's the equivalent of five weeks. The doses are a little bit higher, but it is still well tolerated um, and doesn't interrupt the flow of care uh, regarding chemotherapy and surgery. Thanks very much.